All right, so in this video, I'll be showing you how I use the Interactive Brokers Trader Workstation to invest and trade in stocks as well as options. Now, for those of you who are simply buying and selling stocks, you can just use the Interactive Brokers mobile app. It's a lot simpler to use. But if you are trading options and you're using more advanced option strategies together with scanning and analyzing options, you would definitely need to use the Trader Workstation. Now, the way you set up the Trader Workstation or TWS depends again on your preferences, your objectives and your needs. So I'm showing you how I set it up based on my preferences, based on my objectives. You can always uh, modify it in a way that best suits you, right? So let me begin by uh, showing you the entire layout of my Trader Workstation. Then I'll show you how I set it up step by step. And then I'll show you how I place orders for buying and selling stocks and options. I'll show you how I use the risk navigator for analyzing option trades before I trade. And finally, how I use the scanner to scan for potential trades and option trades. So first, let me show you all the features of my trader workstation. So below, you can see I have created uh, one, two, three, four, five, six tabs in addition to the classic trader workstation that uh, you may or may not want that is uh, not mandatory right um, so the first would be my dashboard so you can see how i've set up my dashboard my dashboard is made up of one two three four five windows and again later i'll show you how to set up all these windows and how to put it put them in order right so the first window would be my uh, portfolio this is very useful because at a glance, you can see all your positions. You can see, uh, for example, these are all my um, option positions over here, right? You can see the you know, unrealized profit or loss, your position, and then you scroll down, you can see uh, my stock positions as well. So this shows you your uh, current live portfolio. The second thing that you need is the on order entry window over here. This is to enter orders to buy or sell certain stocks so for example if i want to buy apple for example over here i would click and put in the ticker appl choose apple okay and then I, if I wanted to buy, I'll show you an example later on. I'll just click buy. If I want to sell, I will just click sell, right? And then I'll put in the quantity of shares. I want to buy and sell. And I can put the uh, limit order or I can put a uh, market order or whatever it is. I could always change to a market order or limit order. And I can put a day or good to cancel uh, order, right? So I can, you know, play around with how I place these orders. Then below there, I've got the quote detail. That means the basic quote details of the ticker I'm looking at. So for example, when I put an Apple over here, um, I can then see everything about Apple right now. It's down a uh, dollar today. Um, and you can see the bid R spread. You can see the volume, the high and low, and the volume, uh, average volume as well. So certain of the quote details that could be useful. Then on the top right, uh, this is what we call the um, the order trade and activity window. So when I place an order, it would appear it would appear under orders. Once the order is executed, you'll be under trades that have been executed. So today I place two trades that were executed. First was I sold this option trade uh, to take profit before earnings are announced two days from now. So I just took a small. $400 profit just now and then I bought 14 shares of Thermo Fisher. So all my trades are uh, shown over here. All right. Then on the right, I've got my option chain. So this is where I will then um, select which options I want to trade. If you want to create a option combo like a bull call spread or bull put spread, I'll then turn on the strategy builder, which I'll show you how I construct the different option strategies in a while. So that is my dashboard. The next tab would be charts. 
Now, in case you didn't know, Interactive Brokers, when you open an account with Interactive Brokers, um, uh, and you use the beta version. Now, remember, when you download the Trader Workstation, there are three versions to download. You could choose the latest version, the stable version, or the beta version. You can choose either one. There's not much difference. Of course, the most stable one is the stable one, right? However, if you like to use TradingView charts, now ordinarily, if you use TradingView, you have to subscribe to TradingView. But the good news is that if you use Interactive Brokers, uh, you get to use TradingView for free, right? By the way, I, I'm not paid a single cent talking about Interactive Brokers at all, right? I'm not an affiliate, I get nothing out of it. I've been using Interactive Brokers myself now for close to 20 years and it's my main uh, platform and that's why I'm sharing with a lot of you who have been asking me about the, the broker that I'm using right but again I get nothing out of this right okay so where was I okay so I was talking about charts that, that's right so with interactive brokers you can get the trading view charts but you have to download the beta version now if you're already using a different version no problem just go to file and go down to change version, right? So for example, now you can see I'm already in a beta version. Uh, but if you happen to be in the stable version or the latest version, change it to beta, and then immediately you'll go to, into the beta mode and you can use the trading view charts. Now, if you're not interested in using the trading view charts, you like the interactive brokers charts, then by all means, you can stay at stable or latest, right? But I prefer the trading view charts. I find them easier to manipulate, right? So there we are. These are the trading view charts uh, that uh, you can use, all right? And again, later I'll show you how to set up the charts as well. Now, I've got another tab, which is the original interactive brokers chart, which I find hard to manipulate, but I'll, I'll just put it there, right? So there we are. This is the traditional interactive brokers charts. And next to it, I have got a watch list, a watch list, uh, which uh, is created from my scanner, which I'll show you again later how I scan and copy and paste the scan stocks into the watch list, which I can then uh, use the charts to look at the different stocks on the watch list. Next, very important if you're trading options. If you're trading options, then my next step would be the options uh, risk navigator. So this is the risk navigator where I'm able to analyze the profit and loss uh, chart of all the option trades I want to enter or option trades I already have. And I'll show you step by step how I use this risk navigator in a short while. Next, very useful would be my fundamentals tab. So in case you did not know again, uh, if you use interactive brokers, you get free access to Morningstar. Now, ordinarily, if you, again, uh, use Morningstar, you have to subscribe to get all their premium service, right? But with Interactive Brokers, it's free, right? Okay, so under Fundamentals, you can see, there we are, that's the Morningstar, where you get the Morningstar rating, you get the Morningstar fair value, which may or may not be exactly the same as my intrinsic value but it gives you a rough idea right but i still do my own intrinsic value calculation because sometimes i find that their fair value could be quite different from my fair value right um and again you can put in any stock that you want and then they will um for example if you want to again look at apple aapl right uh, yep, you can see what's the, int what's the fair value, $150. It's got a white economic mode, right? Uh, they tell you about the company and then you can also look at the financials, the revenue and the net profit margin, right? All the fundamental information you need is on Morningstar and you can get it on Interactive Brokers. And again, later I'll show you how to bring all this up. I'm just giving you a tour about what's in my dashboard right finally i've got a scanner now i must say that the interactive broker scanner is not that great okay i've you know there are a lot better scanners um like tc2000 that's a much better scanner that, that i use but of course you have to pay for that right but if you want a free scanner not that great but better than nothing 
Yeah, interactive brokers does have a scanner where you could scan for uh, stocks that meet certain fundamental or technical criteria. But for me, I tend to scan more for option trades where I scan for uh, stocks that have got high implied volatility where I like to sell option premium that also meet certain fundamental criteria as well. So uh, that is where I use this scanner, right? So this is the first part where I'm orientating you to my trader workstation. Uh, let's go on to the next part next. So in this next part, I'll show you how to set up all these tabs below and how to put in all these different windows, the portfolio window, the order entry window, so on and so forth. So to show that to you, because I don't want to mess up my configuration, I'm going to use my other account. I've got another account over here. Pull it up. Okay. So this is my, my other account, which I'm going to kind of like uh, play. Uh, I rather I've deleted a lot of the tabs so that I can show you how I actually built it from scratch. Right. Okay. So first to open a tab, just click on the plus sign over here. Okay. So click on the plus sign and you call a name for the tab. So for example, my first tab would be dashboard, right? So I already have a dashboard there. So I'm just going to call it dashboard tree. Okay. Dashboard. But for you, it'll, it'll be just called dashboard. Yeah. Let, let me just call that dashboard tree. Okay. There we are. Okay. Now, then the next thing is to then put whatever you want into your dashboard. Again, what's the first thing I want to put in? I want to put in my portfolio window that shows all my current positions. So click on new window. There we go. And go to portfolio. There we are. Your portfolio pops up. And then what you can then do is you can make it bigger, make it smaller, right? You can you know, adjust the size. So, you know, I'll put it roughly about this size. Um, I want to make it similar to this one over here. Yeah, maybe a bit smaller. Yeah, that's fine, right? Okay, so I'm, I'm showing you how I'm replicating this account with this other account that I have, okay? Okay, what's next? The next thing is to put in your order entry window. Uh, now notice that you see this green uh, frame, right? So the green frame means you can manipulate the windows, but once you want to lock it, you click lock and then it locks the positions in, yeah? All right, so what's the next thing we want to put in? Uh, we want to put in the order entry. So click on window again and go to order entry. There we are. Okay, order entry. Okay, and we place that below like this, right? I'm just replicating this thing. Exactly the same thing. I'm doing the same thing. Uh, there we are. Okay, next over here, I put in the uh, quote details. There we are, All right? So it looks exactly like my first account, if you will, okay? Then on the right, I want to put in this one and the option chain, okay? So over here, I click window and I want to put in the uh, order management uh, trade summary, right? It's called trade summary. So put it up there, trade summary. Okay. Um, then put in the uh, orders. For some reason, it kind of like changed it and I'm not able to Okay, so I'll just narrow it like that. Right, uh, for some reason, I'm not sure why it can't be combined now, but it's okay, we can put them separately uh, in, right? So I've got my orders, my summary. Hold on for a while. Oh yeah, actually I can do it here, sorry. Yep, I can put my orders here. Yep, orders, click trades, and click summary. Yeah, put it all in one, correct. So I'll just delete this guy. Yep, I'll just delete this. Okay, so basically what I did, let me just show you again. Um, for this window, I just opened uh, orders. Now you can 
open either one, right? And then what happens, you click this plus sign and you put in summary orders trade, okay? Um, yeah, summary orders trades, that's it, trade, okay? So that is the same as what I have over here. Next, I want to put in my option chain. Uh, so click on that, go to option chain. If you're trading options, you need the option chain, don't you? All right, there we are, option chain. There we are, looks exactly like my first one, doesn't it? Okay. Now, the other thing is you want to make sure that all these windows, they link together. So in other words, if I put in um, a Walmart here, I want this to show Walmart. I want this to show Walmart. Everything is to show Walmart. So it needs to be linked together. Now, to link it together, um, so for example, let me show you, right? If I click on this here, which is my Yum Brands trade, right? If I click here on Yum Brands, everything changes to yum right that changes to yum that changes to yum that changes to yum. everything changes to yum how do i do that by linking them okay how do you link them now over here let me scroll down can you see this linking icon right so choose a color so for me i choose green you could always choose red whatever you want choose green right and then this one over here you have to choose the same color which is again green right group four then over here uh, green as well okay and then over here green and over here green so for every window you open make sure they are the same color so everything gets linked together once you're happy with that just click to lock the layout there we are the layout is locked right and that is uh, the dashboard that I've created, which is the, exactly the same as uh, this account that I have. Okay, so the next thing to do is to put in the next tab, and the next tab would be charts. Now, again, it's your preference. You can use either the interactive brokers charts or the trading view charts. The trading view charts are a lot uh, user friendly, I find. And again, it only comes with the beta version, right? So with that, click the plus sign uh, and call it. Um, charts or you can put trading view so you know that's trading new charts create this new tab uh, open a new window and go to charts there new charts they call it advanced chart but it's actually trading view charts so click on advanced chart and it will load the chart right so put in whatever ticker like yum brands for example put in yum brands And again, we can put it in. Uh, okay, it need to unlock that layout again. Let me put in the chart. Okay, so once it's unlocked, you can then manipulate the area or manipulate the position of the chart. So we're gonna put the chart somewhere over there. Um, now again, let me just, oops, give me a second. Uh, okay, save changes right now let me put a stock in yep yum brands okay fine so it's now showing yum brands okay um, and then you can always set up the charts i'll show you how to do that in a separate video but for now you can uh, put you know let's say uh, daily candles right daily charts Put it to candlesticks over here right and you can of course put in the moving averages and stuff like that and click here you can draw lines and measure the chart and stuff like that okay now on the right of the chart we want to put a watch list so click on well first let's unlock it again uh, click window and we're going to put a watch list next to a chart you always need a watch list next to the chart so when you click on stocks on a watch list, it will appear on the charts. There we are, all right? And then lock it. There we are. So you've got your chart and then you have got your uh, watch list.
Now, again, if you don't want the trading view charts, you want the normal interactive brokers charts, then you just click here and click on chart and you get that uh, the normal interactive brokers charts, which look like this. Again, it's a matter of preference which one you like, right? I happen to prefer the uh, trading view charts, okay? Uh, what's next? So the next thing is we want to put in the uh, options, or rather, put in fundamentals first, right? Put in fundamentals, let me just put it there, right? So open a new window, sorry, open a new tab, and this is called fundamentals. And we want to put in, um, go to new window, go to fundamentals explorer. And there we have it. We have got the uh, morning star uh, on your interactive broker. So again, where I went is I went to Fundamental Ex Fundamentals Explorer and that is basically the morning star window. And then that's it. Lock it up. Okay. Uh, next thing we want to put in would be our um, options risk navigator to analyze option trades. Again, this is what it looks like over here. Okay. We want to put that in together with a watch list, which I'll explain why later on. So open a new tab, and we call this Options Analyzer. Okay. So first thing is go to New Window, go to Portfolio Tools, and go to Risk navigator and go to open new what if right repeat that go to portfolio tools risk navigator and open new what if and then it will ask you do you want to pre-populate your new portfolio with your existing positions just put yes and there you have it um, you will have just click OK, uh, OK, right? You will have this uh, risk navigator that will help you to analyze your option trades before you place the trades, as well as analyzing your existing option trades. And again, I'll do a separate video just on how to use this risk navigator for options trading. But for now, I'll just show you how to put it in uh, to your platform, right? And again, you have to put it here. And next to it, you actually want to put another watch list and you will know why later on you need to put a watch list there. Um, let's put it there. Okay, hold on. Uh, click uh, at watch list. Oops, that risk navigator disappeared behind the scenes. We've got to bring it back. Okay, there you go, put it in. All right, so there we are. Um, let me make this a bit smaller, make this a bit bigger. Okay, so you've got your risk navigator and your watch list. Uh, for now, let me just uncheck this. Okay, close that, pull that up. Okay, yeah, all right. So that's the risk navigator and that is the watch list. And lock it in. There we are, we are locked in. We're locked in, we're good to go. Okay, now the last one is to put in the scanner. So click and put scanner. Okay, and what do we put in? We put a scanner. So click new window and look for scanner. Again, interactive broker scanner is not the best in the world, but it's better than nothing, right? Uh, so put scanners and put advanced market scanner, although it's not that advanced, right? But let's put it in anyway. Okay. That's the scanner. And next to the scanner, we need to put another watch list.
There we are, right? Scanner, watch list, lock it in. Okay, there we are, we are done. So once you have done that, um, you have recreated uh, my Trader Workstation setup, right? And you're good to go. And you can then use this to effectively uh, invest, trade stocks and options. So in subsequent videos, I'll then show you how to place entry orders, how to buy and sell stocks, how to buy and sell options, how to use the risk navigator to analyze option trades and how to use a scanner. Stay tuned for the coming videos. If you want to catch my latest videos, click on the subscribe button right now. Click on the bell so you get instant notifications once I upload my latest video. If you want to check out my online courses, go to piranaprofits.com. We're going to learn how to invest and how to trade the financial markets and create an income from all around the world. If you want to join my live Wealth Academy program, go on to wealthacademyglobal.com and find out more about how you can learn investing and trading live online. This is Adam Koo and may the markets be with you.